All right, we're doing more Mario Kart CTGP, everybody, and man, I can't believe it's been this long and we haven't been my man Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong's great. All right, what should we be in today? You know, let's be in the Honey Coop. I don't remember this one all that well, but it looks so cool. Donkey Kong's driving a deluxe sports car with manual drift, of course. So today we are on the Bee Mushroom Cup. And it looks like we've got GBA Sky Garden, Glimmer Express Trains, Garden of Dreams, and Desert Castle Raceway. Alright, I only know one of these, and it's the first one, so here we go! The last one intrigues me. But first up, we've got an old familiar face. The one, the only, GBA Sky Garden. And it actually looks like the real GBA Sky Garden and not the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe version. I like the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe version, but it's like a basically a completely different course, so. Here we go. Oh, look at that sports car. So deluxe. Oh, we have the mushroom gorge here. Yeah, I guess that kind of makes sense. Okay. Any coop controls, not too bad. For now, this is also a simple enough course. Hey, here's our first power. Oh, triple reds, that's really nice. Oh no! Also, I don't know why, but in Mario Kart Wii, Donkey Kong has a voice clip where it literally sounds like he is Yoshi. Like, I swear they took a Yoshi sound clip and accidentally gave it to Donkey Kong. I, I heard it right before I said it, so that's what made me think of it. If it happens again, I will point it out. Alright, so far so good. Honeycoop seems to be a pretty solid choice as far as carts go. The only cart I'm really not looking forward to using is the Jet Setter. The Jet Setter is the fastest cart in the game but it also has literally nothing else going for it. It's awful turning, awful drifting, awful excel, awful off-road. Oh no! Oh come on, why didn't my banana peel have to fly that direction? Okay, yeah, if you're in the quacker, you should not be trying to ram into Donkey Kong. Oh my gosh. Bowser is in the flame flyer, which is a big, big combination. Out of the way, Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong is ready to rumble. And why is there a booster seat that is able to keep up with the Honey Coop? Um, why did my red shell not block that red shell? Excuse me? I was holding a red shell behind me. Kidding me, they swiped my power up too. Out of the way. Oh, give me a red shell. That's not a red shell. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! How come I couldn't drift there? Bowser, stop trying to mess me up! Oh, you- WHAT?! Oh, he hit off-road. Doggone it! Ugh. That was the perfect storm of bad luck at the end there that stopped me from taking first place. Are you kidding? Are you serious? <laughs> oh, well, that was not a great start to the circuit. <laughs> and that was the one I was most optimistic I could do well on, because it's the only one I know. Oh boy, what do we have next? Glimmer Express Trains, okay. We do indeed have some trains. Oh, what? Oh, no. Oh, what is this? What is this? Oh, this looks like some horrible, horrible gimmick level. Oh, no, this looks awful. It's a two-lap course because of how big it is. Warrior Gold Mine music, I believe. 
Yep. Oh no, is this gonna be one of those courses where you either need to be in an inside drift bike or just know the way out exactly? This is such a weird, bizarre... What is this? Okay, well the train itself is not moving, it's the background that's moving. So thank goodness for small things. Oh, great. Um, what? I hate the fucking blood. Also, why is there a jungle within this train? What? I hate the CPUs. I will kill them. Wait, what? I'm so confused. Wow, they just always swipe the power up I'm trying to go for. I am very confused about this course. It's so bizarre. And also, apparently there's just some parts where you fall through the floor. And that's, that's it. I mean, it's an ambitious idea. Oh no, I don't like this part. No! Stop giving me the thundercloud! It's such a bad power up. Also, I'm very far behind. Like, I am very far behind the first place here. I was honestly expecting it to give me a third one the plan. Okay, I am starting to think that I should have been an inside drift bike for this, but how was I supposed to know? All right. Yeah, the this is what I remember 150cc Mario Kart Wii CPUs being like. None of them care about winning individually. They just care about collectively making sure you, the human, do not win. Like again, on the mini- oh, you, I'm gonna freaking fall. On the mini-map, it doesn't look like they have that big of a lead, but keep in mind how unbelievably huge it is to courses. Give me a bullet bill. That could work as well. Although not nearly as well. Do not make me fall off again. Thank you. Oh no, oh, bad, baby. Bullet bill? It's not a bullet bill. Back up the ranks. I am in a fast vehicle, so that helps. Wait, how did I get in second? Oh, I, my, oh man, I can see Baby Mario. He's right there. I don't even want to trick off of these ramps, because I never know if they're going to be excited. You fell off a cliff. I can't believe I'm in first right now. Oh no, no, because I'm... Ugh. Thanks. This is one of the weirdest courses in CTGP. It is a greenhouse on a train, but I guess we won! I really don't think we should have won, but I'll take it. That makes up for last course where we should have won, but didn't. <laughs> cool. Uh, that was very bizarre. I guess it wasn't too bad, but it was overwhelming. Garden of Dreams. This one looks really pretty. This looks like something out of a Ghibli movie. Ooh, man. They went all out on this one. It looks so nice. But does it race nice? That's the real question. All right, Peach Gardens is music. Kind of expected that for this one. 
Why are people going the other direction around? Oh, man, this level is... Oh, this is so beautiful. I love it when the custom courses are try really hard to look nice. Because visual appearance does actually go a long way in making a course good. Obviously, I don't care how nice it looks if it's uh, not fun to race on, but... I'm sorry? How did I fall off there? Regardless, though... Okay, apart from that, like, unexpected fall, this is a really nice looking course. Oh, okay, that part's a little strange. So you could go to the right there, which is the short way, or you could go all the way around. I don't know what, why you would want to go all the way around, though. Is there, like, an extra power-up set over there? Blooper there to laugh in your face, as always. All right. I gotta remember going for the cave. You can just fall off really easily. Blooper again? This part looks like the. Okay, that was on. That one was on me. I just drove off. This cave looks like the cave on Barunda in Star Wars Episode 1 Todd Racing. Those who have played that game will know what I mean. I will say the end part there, where unless you're looking at the minimap, you're not going to know which way to go. Or you're just going to drive straight and hit a dead end. That's not great. <laughs> but otherwise, I really like this course. This is very well done. I will remember this as I play CTGP multiplayer. And wow, another blooper. Off of this. Oh wow, we have a breakaway. There we go. Finally, I didn't fall off in that cave. And I see some subtle shortcuts you can take there. Like, you could boost across the grass at the end there. I, I hesitate to call that a shortcut, since it's just like a cut across the grass, but I, I guess it counts. Alright, two great courses, one course that I still don't really know how to feel about, but we're moving on to Desert Castle Raceway. Okay, it looks like Shifting Sandland with Yoshi advertisements. Okay, I can get behind this. Ooh, oh, that looks nice. I love the waterfall. Oh, that's very, that's very nice. It's a two-lap course. Oh, we're getting the Desert Hills music. I was expecting the Dry Dry Ruins music. Oh. There, that right there. DK sounded like Yoshi with that sound effect. Wait, what? I'm sorry. Are we going down the freeway? Uh, I gotta say, this is not what I was expecting from this course. Oh, this is weird. It's like a desert and a castle and Moonview Highway all in one. This is so bizarre. I like it, though. It's very creative. Okay, that part, it's very hard to tell what's off road, though. Ooh, do the jump over the oasis. Classy. This reminds me of the pyramid bubble from Crash Team Racing. I think I 
damage this trip took a very long cut. Oh yeah, this is giving me huge Crash Team Racing Pyramid vibes. Okay, now this makes sense why it's a two-lap course. This is a lot longer than I was expecting. The minimap didn't make it look very big, but there's a lot of overlap, so... Okay, that's a little strange. You couldn't put, like, a cannon in there? I'm gonna give a foul on that one. Otherwise, this course is very well done. Cool, alright! If you get three great courses in a cup, I'd say it's a pretty good cup. Unless the last course is, like, Mushroom Peaks. In which case, that kind of sours the whole thing. I get the feeling that this freeway part can be really stressful, and you're gonna have to look backwards. Just to make sure you don't get run over by a semi, like Grandma did that one Christmas. Oh wait, no, that, that was a reindeer, not a semi. Uh, okay, well, that was dumb. How, would, how are they that close behind me? I'm in a fast car. Oh. Fortunately, I wasn't able to turn well enough on the sand to get a power up. Darn you! Alright, once again, it really just feels like it's not everyone competing for first place. It feels like the AI collectively working together to stop you from winning. Oh, shoot! Apparently this way is not supposed to be taken. So when I took the long cut last time, it was actually the way you were supposed to go. Go figure. Oh no, you- Who throws a red shell backwards? That right there, if you see someone throw a red shell backwards, it means that they are plotting against you. There is never a reason to throw a red shell backwards unless you are in first place with a red shell. Which I guess in Mario Kart we can happen. But the first place it was too far ahead to have thrown that particular red shell. Okay, I can still potentially be baby one. Oh no 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 no! Oh yes, everyone's trying. Galaxy brain. <laughs> I knew that they were gonna shrink me, so I drove off a cliff on purpose. That's what I'm going with. Actually, no, I just completely lucked out at the end there, but I will take it! Okay, we had some bad luck and we had some great luck. I think I had been more good luck than bad luck, though, so we'll take it. They're gonna give us, like, a D rank, though. <laughs> you got first place. You got... Yeah! How did I guess? D rank. They're like, man, you, you sucked. <laughs> we gave you the victory because we felt bad, but, man, you sucked. Alright, well, we're gonna do our second cup today, and I think now we're gonna use Birdo. Birdo recently reappeared back in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, so good for you, Birdo. And I guess we'll be on the... I guess we're gonna go on the Sugar Scoot, a bike that I cannot remember riding on in the past. But, I mean, hey, I haven't really, really ridden on Zip Zip a whole lot before, and I really like that one, so... Let's try it out. We are now on the Rock Mushroom Cup, which... Again, it's a cup that's actually Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, and we've got Melody Sanctum, Musical Cliff, GBA Cheese Land, and the Royal Rainbow. Is that a Katamari reference? I hope so. I love Katamari. As the game goes. Alright. <laughs> no idea what to expect here. Melody Sanctum. We got a big castle. This reminds me of the course we just finished. Oh, it's, it's based off of no blocks. I love the waterfalls. Oh, this is weird. It's like an ancient ruins, but it's got like DJ speakers ever. Okay, I can get behind this. This sounds pretty cool. Get it. All right, Birdo. Okay, I think Sugar Scoot has really good... I don't think it has good drift. Yeah, okay, its drift is pretty wide, but I think it's just normal turning is really good. Ooh, I see that. There's gonna be a waterfall shortcut. Okay, and then this course, we do have the dry dry room.
Ooh, the piano keys as a ramp, I like it. Alright, this course looks really cool. Alright, we're gonna have to aim for this one, though. Don't go straight. But they did a good job of letting us know in advance that was coming, so we could plan for it. Good job. I think the, like, rainbow musical notes that are just kind of like, oh, we slam you, maybe could have been designed a little bit better. But otherwise, oh man, this is cool. I like the fence over here. The fence is a musical score, that's pretty cool. And it's another two-lap race, as I am seeing in the corner. I mean, a lot of two-lap uh, races. Oh, those notes are just retextured flops. Okay. I feel like maybe you could have used the actual note blocks instead, though. No? Oh! I thought we could, like, get a boost off of that. We couldn't. Alright, Oreo. Oh, triple Brains is good. That's a good power up to have in second. Oh, thank you, Outside Drift. You saved my again? No, my mushroom. Oh, man. But Sugar Scoot's got good acceleration. Much better than Wario's dopey little bike has. I didn't even see what Wario's bike was. It's probably the Wario bike. No consistency and all that. Okay. Yoink! Triple bananas, I've missed you. Ow. I didn't expect the Pokey to turn around that quickly. Oh, will we show at this part again? Come on, now that's just no fun. Are you serious? No. I will not lose to Dick Dastardly. on the symbols. Oh, nice try. Alright! That was a fun one. Very creative. And well put together. I like that one a lot. <laughs> the count! That's Birdo. And Birdo Sugar Scoot is actually a pretty cool combo. I kind of like the bikes that have like really good normal turning, but not great drift. It kind of forces you to balance it out and figure out what to do when. I like it. The musical cliff. <laughs> oh, it's funny. It's like musical clef, but it's a cliff because we are on a cliff. Wow. Is this just the music cup? If so, why isn't this the note block cup? Got more note blocks. Got a nice looking forest. Thankfully, it's a free lap course again. And the maple tree. I'm sorry. Is that like a tiny little bucket? Uh, Waluigi, I'll let you be in first. Oh my gosh, they are adorable little metal buckets. If those guys. Oh wait, are they little super bells? These guys are actually from a Mario game, I am not aware. Ooh, oh, nope, okay. I wasn't lined up properly to do the shortcut, otherwise I would. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, no! Oh, Wario. You have fallen on hard times, my friend. Why is there just purple fire on the ground? I don't think there should be purple fire on the ground. Nor do I think I deserve to bullet bill in, uh, like, 7th place or whatever I was in, but... Okay, that's where the sugar screw is, uh... A little tricky. Uh-oh. Oh, now Wario's, uh, back on top of the world again. 
the bats are like little bells. That's an interesting design choice. And boo! He kept trying to hit me with his stupid banana peel. It's like I'm playing with Shaggy again. Okay. That was where I fell off last time. I'm not making that same mistake again. Aha, the fire has kind of a small hitbox. I still don't really understand why there's fire on this course. I also don't think I hit that, but alright. Poor little buckets. They look like the buckets that you would put on your Chow's head in Sonic Adventure 2 Chow Garden. Which was the best part of Sonic Adventure 2, by the way. I like this part with the boost ramp. Oh, okay. Boost ramps in the cave is the fun part. That was dumb. Man, there's just fire everywhere now. That is a deceptively tricky jump to make. Okay, there's like a giant trumpet on that mountain that's playing musical notes and then the musical notes spit purple fire everywhere. I don't really see the logical connection from one to the next, but that was still a fun track. I like it. I'm also enjoying using the Sugar Scoot more than I would have expected. Good job, Birdo. Alright, GBA Cheese Land. And this is the real Cheese Land. Before it got revamped. Look at that, it's so nice looking. You got the cheesy mountains, you got the beautiful starry night sky. Oh, it's just wonderful. You could even say it's pretty Gouda. <laughs> you know, it's fitting that it's Moo Meta. Okay, Luigi, that was uncalled for. I was going to say it's fitting that it's the Moo Meadows music. Because cow milk makes cheese. But it is a shame, because the Cheeseland theme is so unique. It's unlike any other Mario Kart for music, honestly. I like how they put in the, uh, the little mice as well. Also wondering how if drifting is even worth it for me in Sugar Scoot on this level, or if I should just focus on taking the turns normally and then using wheelies. I mean, the course is a little flat in the GBA version, but okay. oh, unlucky! Oh, you've got to be kidding me! And then Kimbu tries desperately to run me off the road when I think he was the one who passed this off to me in the first place. He's just a big goon. Why are you a heavy guy, anyways? Height does not equal weight. So if you're used to the Mario Kart 8 version of this course, it's almost unrecognizable. Does King Boo have a furred thundercloud? That he was also trying desperately to pass off again to me? Looked like he was blatantly avoiding all of the CPUs just trying to reach me. Just 
Just you try to catch me, folks. Whoa! Oh, we got a decent breakaway. Yoink! There we go. The one time it's acceptable to throw a red shell backwards when you're in first and about to win. Cool! Birdo's killing it on the sugar scoot. It's time for the last course of the day. What's it gonna be? And what's it gonna look like, more importantly? Because it is the Royal Rainbow. Which I'm assuming is a new Rainbow Road. Okay. This looks psychedelic, could be cool, but also it's a Rainbow Road. And those are, Rainbow Roads are either really, really good or really, really bad. And there's really no in between. I like the sound effects. I'm sick of Kingu trying to run it off the road. I am at least glad that the Wii Rainbow Road music gets to be used on a course that's actually good. I like the power-ups. I like the crown power-up design. Okay, the arrows are telling us to go one of these two ways. So we can do that. That jump seems a little weird, but thankfully the road is wide, so we're able to make it. Uh, it is Mario Kart Wii, after all, so you have to expect blue shells pretty much every lap. So this is not a Katamari reference, this is just someone trying to make their own Rainbow Road. Which I respect the grind! Maybe they saw... Maybe they weren't satisfied with the Rainbow Road from this game as well. Or maybe they just wanted to make a cool Rainbow Road, because they look really nice. And indeed, Rainbow Roads consistently do look pretty nice. Excuse me, how did you not get it? Oh, I had to jump the banana, that's how. How is the booster seat going this fast? It's like the slowest vehicle in the game. I think it literally is the slowest vehicle in the game. I know the sugar scoot's not terribly fast either. But even so. Okay, I really like this Rainbow Road. This is one of the good ones. This, this is a fantastic course. There also seems to be multiple routes you can take, but I haven't really figured those out yet. Part of it is my lead is so narrow, I don't want to risk losing it. Like, how do you get up high over there? Great, wow, the CPU, is that one CPU just continuously driving off a cliff? Oh, this is such a, this is such a good course, I love this. This course a lot. This is well done, like that part right there where you have to deviate, that's good because they let you, they, there are the signs that let you know, hey, go to the left or go to the right. If it just came out of nowhere, that would be no good. Oh, no, this is fantastic. I love the colors on this course. I love how it drives. Oh, yeah, this, this is like an S-tier Rainbow Road right here. I love this. Whoever designed the Royal Rainbow, <laughs> I can give you my most hearty thumbs up. Oh, finished just before the blue shell hit. That's good timing. Wow, that was a great cup. Rock Mushroom Cup is a great cup. I will remember that. There, there were four winners over there. Honestly, pretty much every track for today was a winner. 
The only one I wasn't a fan of was the second track of the B Mushroom Cup, but even then, it was probably just a case of, I would need to give it another go now that I know what to expect. Only an A rank? Come on! I won first on every track. I shouldn't that warrant me a star. Nope. Guess not. Ah, well, that's going to do it for this episode of Mario Kart CTGP, everybody. Thanks for watching, and tune in next time. We'll be doing the next two cups and exploring more of these amazing custom tracks. Look forward to that next time. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.